Live and direct in full effect. Madison Square Mellow, 62 in the net. Spirit of a hustler, but hustling right. Never gamble with life, a dangerous paradigm that was classic. Right. Hoodies it's, for the cold it's, days, tees for the heat. Drop the sneaker three months, 10 pairs hit the street. We gonna got no, I, I gotta give my, I, we gotta, we gotta give my, hey, we gotta give my guy his flowers. Gotta give him his flowers. That's it. He'll, I know he'll, we're gonna do, he'll tell you we'll get you out of here, man. Oh, man, I'm ready to go sleep. I know we'll get you out of here, man. It's already ready. All yeah, right, everything's set up. Hey, man. Yeah, it should hey, be. Hey, man, we're here prime time live, man. We have a special edition, man. We just want to give, you know what I'm saying, the super producer, man, my partner, man. He gave me his business card, man, I, and, and, bro, we here now, bro. And uh, it's, it's been a journey, bro. It's been so fun. Twenty, twenty, and sold the shop and got Started trucking, this is crazy, bro. Yeah, 2020? 2020, bro. 2020, it's 2022 now. Yeah. Um, Man, Sam, I give you Jamaica Sims, bro. Like, the creative of Mel in the Mix. Uh, well, no, that's, she already had that she show. Had that, she had that. I just, I just helped shoot it. Like, I helped okay. shoot it from time to time. I felt like you kind of, like, gave them that kind of, oh. Though. Well, Mel is, you know, she worked with me a lot on, on yeah. projects, and we actually got a future um a partnership that we're gonna be doing next year. Shout out to Mel and Mix. She's a goat. She's a goat too as well. Yeah. Um, Strut. Uh, I give you. Hold on. Uh, Cook. When Cook first started out with Bank the Bank Radio, Radio, Radio yeah. man, you see him interviewing folks now, man. Sims. Yeah. Sims started that. You know what I'm saying? Nope. I did not start that. You didn't start he was it. already doing it. He was doing. I just it. came <laughs> in. So this this is what I do. I other than other than primetime live. Right. 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 And. Uh, so that was about the only one that created from scratch, other than like the podcast that I did right, right. Like years, years ago. But most of the time, I work with people who already either they're, they're trying to get something going, right, right. or they already got something going. And right. I just bring my expertise and my skills to just upgrade it Upgr up to another level. And look, he is upgraded. He upgraded your boy. You feel me? Like, yeah. and I, I'm forever grateful, dog. Like, um. We was like, we was earlier before you got here, bro. We was watching the episodes and BJ's. They were blown away. Yeah, they were blown away. They was blown away. But see, I can I can dibble and dabble in sports. That's why I ain't mess with them too much. They was talking about business, mm -hmm. but she wanted to talk about you know what I'm saying. Let's keep it business. I was like, cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I can dibble and dabble in sports, man. But Sam just enhanced it, my ability to talk to people. You feel me? And bro, I just want to tell you I appreciate you, man. Well, the thing was when I, when when I had moved back down here yeah. uh, was. The whole goal was to find people who already had that that presence. Yeah. To do that, like I already see like the skills. Right, right, the, With right. the people that I work with. Right. My whole thing is like, okay, so this is the way I look at it. Right. I'm Dr. Dre. So you got your Snoop Dogs. You got your Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you got your, you know what I'm saying? Your NWA. That's a perfect like, example. Sam. And so that's that's how I look at myself as a producer. Right, right. So right. I'm just looking for the artists, the rappers right. that want to get on the beats. So that's that's so I'm, I'm exactly. just looking for the people with the skills yeah. to just match up the beats with. Right, and man, you found the man, and yeah. um, like I told you, man, we watched. I watched the episode with Chelsea, me, and Partner V, and BJ's. How we kind of like. That you was know, Cherry Street Hookah. Huh? That was in Cherry Street Hookah. Uh, that one was, but the one we watched was the one in BJ's. You remember that one? You said with Partner V. Partner V was in that one. He did one with BJ. It was me. In BJ's? It was, it was three of us. It was just three of us. I thought it was because y'all was sitting down. We were sitting down on the couches. I, I'll play it back for you in a minute. Yeah, that was, that was Cherry Street Hookah. That was the first time you introduced me to him. Right, right. That was the first one, but you know, he did another one. that you, you The second one you did with us, when he came, you kind of convinced him. Okay. You convinced him because the first time he talked to you about it, the second time you kind of like, I he had to make a decision. He made a decision that night. Okay. And that's why I was like, bro, he uh, we speak. He got a podcast coming. Blah 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 blah. Okay. I'm gonna show it to you, Sam. Yeah, because I don't remember. I don't remember uh, Cherry Street Hookah. But I remember that episode too, man. And like, man, we got a bunch of episodes, man. And yeah, a whole lot. Of and they're them. legendary, man. And um, I, they tell a story though, Sims. Mm -hmm. They tell a story, man. It show how part of V got started. Mm -hmm. Chelsea talking about her realtor stuff. Yeah. Chelsea got this realtor stuff going crazy now. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it's telling the story, and I'm love. I'm like, man, damn, we was really there. 
We need to bring cannabis and come. We need to take that from Cook. Well, actually, I already talked to him about what that. What he said, And man. Uh, I, I don't think he's going to do that again, yeah. but I had talked to him about, hey, man, you know, wh what do you think about me uh, introducing that type of project? Yeah. Uh, but doing it differently. Yeah. And he was just like, hey, man, you know, shit, if you, if you got it, go ahead and do it. So, you know, I might I might go ahead and uh, set it up because right. what I'm going to end up doing next year right. is I've already had a website for a long time. I right, just right. never really did anything with it right. until the right time. And so That's next year going to be the right time. So I'm launching UrbanMediaNetwork.com. And basically it's just going to be a podcasting network. Man. So – it's going to have like five or six flagship shows right, that are right. going to be podcast shows. And right. basically, I'm just going to run it like it's a, um, like a, like a radio station. So I'm going to have a couple of DJs send me like some, some music, like they mixes. Yeah. So it's going to have See mixes on there. Yeah. So it's going to have DJs and it's going to have music to listen to when you're on Jeez. the podcast. Yeah. And it's going to have like several, uh, like everybody that I've been working with pretty much going to have like their own uh, channel on the, on the website. And, um, Bar. The so, goal is, you know, is to start selling like advertising bundles because that's where the money's at, really, when right, it comes right, to right. these podcasts. Right. Uh, um, I had sales. I mean, tell you this, I had to adjust our price, bro, on the flyer, bro. Um, my will just slap them in the face. And so, uh, I put, I went on, I, I edited, it, we edited it and did two hundred it up. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Like, um, and and then the book us, bro, one seventy five. Yeah, not se we're not seventy five dollar ass niggas, so you're yeah. gonna pay for this shit. Yeah, I mean that's you know cool. You know what I'm saying? Because the, one of the things that um, you know I'm always trying to tell people right. like, stop giving away so much for free when there's so mm -hmm. many people out there who are making money off. It. Like what? Like why are folks making money off of this? Yeah, man. like we're sure. the only ones that are giving away content, like so much content for free. Huh. And then later on down the line, once we kind of stumble onto the money, then yeah. we'll start making money. But you already got like five, six, seven years of doing stuff. Right, right, Why right. Why not right. go ahead and just come right out the bat and yeah. just say, you know what? I'm going to treat this like a business. Mm -hmm. I'm going to treat mm -hmm. this like a business because it is a business. Because people like podcasting and, and social media and Talk creating content is already like a viable thing. Like, right. like we're, we're in the age right now where – Major uh, um, corporations are giving like corporations are giving money to, like, giving money to yeah to, to sure. you know what I'm saying like they're buying into the sponsorships right. and the advertising for sure, for sure for sure all we have to do on our end is be consistent yeah and and grow our numbers right. know who our who our right. viewers are who our market is right. and just constantly show that you know hey here are the analytics of who we're targeting and who we're reaching and who's engaging with us on a right. regular basis right i mean there's it, nothing wrong with that but right you know kind of like what you know y'all was talking about earlier mm -hmm. like nobody's giving that knowledge out everybody's thinking that we just gotta do it for the popularity popular yeah and in the meantime what? instagram facebook mm -hmm. TikTok, TikTok, all these platforms are making so much money off of us just throwing stuff up there just Content. so we can be pop popular. Po popular, yeah. Not knowing that you it's can, money you can it. yeah, you, like they, they wouldn't be doing it if there was no money in it. Right. Say that, Sims. Um, this artist right here, bro. I don't know if you remember him. You had, we didn't have so many artists on. Lucky Game, mm -hmm. sign the Bootsy now. Oh, okay. Plan, plan is it's crazy. Went to his listening party. I was telling him, like, bro, we good to see. I was like, I'm talking about Probably your progression and all that stuff, and it's cool, bro, because you put the work in, bro. Mm -hmm. um, you outwork a lot of people, you feel me? Mm -hmm. You got signed to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Even though whatever works for you, it works for you, but you did accomplish something from what? When you interviewed with us, mm -hmm. and the last time we talked to you, you know what I'm saying? You was like, you was doing your thing, but now you're signing the booze. So you, now you, you're you projecting views and all that kind of stuff, like, which, mm -hmm. is, which is dope, bro. To see though, we have them. We have we got a story. We got stories now. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, I was like, damn, that's crazy. And see, laying that seed with him. Yeah. Now you know what I'm saying. You can contact and be like, hey man, now that you signed, yeah, come back and 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 tell us a story. Tell us what it's like to be on the label with with the with the with the major label, major artist. Yeah. And he said he gonna come back. Yeah, and that's he what said I'm saying. It immediately so, too. I yeah. was like, oh bet, bet. Yeah. Okay, say yeah. no more. He was like, bro, when I need to come back here, I was like. Bro, I, I was like, I'm talking to my partner, I'm talking yeah. to Sims, 
And we're going to go from there. That's yeah. And, and so, you know, that lays, you know what I'm saying? Like, lays the foundation for what it is that we're doing, man. Because, you know, bridging that gap between here and Atlanta yeah. is something that, and that's the one thing that, you know, kind of disappointed me about yeah. a lot of people with the visual uh, visual media artists yeah. around here in Macon. Yeah. Like, they got to stop creating just disposable content. Like, mm-hmm. create some cereal projects. And yeah. I, I don't mean cereal like what you eat. I mean yeah. series. Like, Create yeah. some daily, uh, create some daily or weekly projects. Right, like, right. Just consistently, just like start putting out these these right. projects, and don't let them be just random. Right, like, real shit, real shit. You know, create projects like like music artists, like like yeah. not music artists, but like uh, music video directors. Yeah. Like everything doesn't have to be a music video. It doesn't. It does. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you know, get some microphones and interview a lot of these artists, and in between. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Play their music videos. Now you got your own rap city. Rap city, literally, literally. You know what I'm saying? Like you can literally. you can do something, and then the the fact that you're keying in on a specific genre, you know, that'll help your numbers grow yeah. a lot better. And mm-hmm. then you know you'll be. Able, but that that's the only thing that I say here in making is being missed is that we got a lot of people with talent, but nobody's yeah. creating these shows. Like right. You know, create some TV shows, like create some more podcasts, like create some more visual media um, content that that is going to be like a weekly series. Like, right. Everybody trying about doing these skits and stuff like that. Right. Cool. Cool, for sure. Take that skill. And make it into like a series. Create a sitcom. Exactly. Ooh. Create a sitcom. Exactly, exactly. Like you're funny enough. Yeah. On the you know doing like the five right. the five minutes or the two minutes or the one minute yeah. thing. Okay. Now take that, amp it up a little bit more. Take take your time. Write out a whole script. Right. Now you got a series. Like Say that. you got your sitcom. Kiera, we talking to Kiera ass. Um, his highest motherfucking uh skit with me in it. Right. That's what I'm saying. So uh, it so me, I, 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 cause we actually act out a scene. Right. And I was trying to tell, I was trying, I was explaining, I said, like, bro, you need to do scenes that connect to each yeah. other. You're telling the but story. But see, what happens is people get hooked on trends. So mm. it's the trend to do skits. Yeah, it is. It is. Which I, is it. which is fine, but use that skit as yeah. a preview to what you got bigger. Right, right, right. Because let me tell you how you set it up. Yeah. You get you a website. Right. Don't put it on YouTube. Don't, do not, not put it on YouTube. Do not put it on TikTok. Do yeah. not put it on Instagram. Create yeah. you a website. Yeah. Right? Once you create your website, your whole content, put all of that on your website. You put previews on oh, everything else. Yeah. And you put your link to your website. Yeah. So now, you if everybody, traffic. right, if everybody's liking what you're doing on all the other platforms, yeah. they'll go and see the whole thing on your, on your website. Now your website is creating all the views. Now you can go and sell oh, advertising. Sales. To these corporations, and instead of getting pennies on a dollar for YouTube, Mm -hmm. seven years later, that keeps changing up the algorithm on you because you're making money. Money, yeah. Now you could just go directly to them and be like, "Hey, I'm getting a hundred thousand views per episode. Right. I'm getting uh, twelve thousand subscribers every month. Right. Here's my demographic. Yeah. Here's how they're engaging with me. Da 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 da. Yeah. Now let's make a deal to you know. I'm gonna tell you who did that already. Who did? Who made is a good example of Donk Master. I don't know if you know who he is. Oh yeah, I know Donk. Yeah. Donk Master made a. Uh, it was the series was sold to uh. It was it Speed Vice. Channel? Vice. It was yeah, because yeah yeah I was watching on Vice all the time. We're watching on Vice and now you watch it on YouTube now. Yeah. He was and then he, he doing other shit now. Yeah. So like he's the perfect example of it. Right. Because I was watching, I was like, damn, he went from Vice to YouTube. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, but I was taking notes. I was taking notes, and he's a perfect example of that. Uh, mm-hmm. the uh, the eighty five South is a perfect example. They took mm-hmm. their comedy show and made it into a podcast, which I think was cheating. Y'all cheating? No, 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 they cheat. <laughs> no, they didn't cheat. Cause I mean, that's that's what you want to do. Like they 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 started mm-hmm. off. With, I think they started off. No, they started off doing um, Wildin' Out. They was on Wildin' Out. That's their fame. That's, that's their fame for that's sure. They claimed the fame was Wildin' wildin out, out, but out then sure. they went into the podcasting game. Yeah. And then you find out that hey, doing live shows, you get tickets for. You know what I'm saying? You, you, got, you making money selling tickets. So that so now down. they go and do their live shows. Yeah. And it's no different than the same business model of a of a, of a music artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You create your album, mm-hmm. you sell your album. But then people want to see you live. Then you make your money 
from the live show. For the show, for the show. So that's that's the same thing. It's the same business model. And so that's the same thing that, you know, Yo. anybody can do this. Anybody can use that business model. And anybody can, for sure. Anybody can so use that business model. So now I'm understanding. Now I'm understanding the, the power of our monetization on YouTube, fam. Mm -hmm. um, since I've been seeing, like, okay, so I we got, we, that was like two years ago we got monetized. So now I'm looking at it now from this point of view. I'm like, well, it's $5 per thousand views. Mm -hmm. So after the monetization, so if you get a couple thousand views, you're going to generate, you got to break your threshold. We broke our threshold. I can't say. You can log in and see. Mm -hmm. I'll send it to you. We broke our threshold. We just got a... We it's it's a it, we just gotta basically keep getting giving putting the content out there and getting the views and it'll build up a, a, a large checks that cash out every time. Right, but see here's the thing. Like I said before, they change up the algorithm. Right? They do. So once you start making money in it, then they change it up to where now it's harder for you to get those views again. Yeah, because it is. It is. They change it up. So now yeah. you have to label the video in a certain way mm -hmm. that get a lot of people uh to watch the video so now they do this thing where the best way to get a lot of views on your website because youtube is becoming a search engine mm -hmm. people are not just watching it for entertainment purpose they actually they're Searching. actually yeah they're actually using it like a google yeah now. exactly so now you got to label your videos yeah. as if uh it's a search engine title right like right. you know what i'm saying like right. you know if you're doing a youtube channel on um you know, podcast. Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like, how to grow your podcast right. in, in 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? That's like, if wild. you label that video that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you're interviewing somebody like this right here, yeah. but if you name this video how to start a podcast in 15 minutes and upload that, yeah. then people who are searching for podcasts podcast on Google you. as well as YouTube, that's going to pop up. You. They're going to direct you to Because you. now it's, it's, it's a search engine title. It's not right, just, right. hey, we interviewing Jay Sims. Like, right. it's, it's not that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So It's you, the title. Yeah. Um, we've been killing all that. Let me tell you. So let me tell you how the Dangerous Paradise TV YouTube has swapped a little bit. Like, the views are coming through on the, the episodes, but episodes, the shit that's been killing is the them shorts. Well, that's the new thing. The because shorts are killing. Because YouTube and Instagram and all these platforms... Yeah. Are pushing shorts, Short, so that's why killing. the shorts are, are short, working. Short the other day, Sims. Yeah. A matter, what well, it was, I say about ten hours. It mm -hmm. was a hundred k views. On it. Yeah, but the, 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 again, that's. But how do you convert that into money? Because the shorts, yeah. if ten thousand people yeah. are watching it, it right. should have been a link that's going directly to a website. To where now they can see go, all the I content. Get the website okay. Well, I mean, you know, it, some, so direct the traffic somewhere. Di yeah, use those to direct direct traffic to right. where your main hub or where your money is. Hey, say that, say that. You know what I'm saying? That, because say what's that. happening is, because Facebook, they don't want you to go nowhere. They want you to stay on they, Facebook. Stay, exactly. That's YouTube exactly. don't want you to go nowhere. They want you to stay on, on YouTube, YouTube yeah. because the more views, the more they can sell advertising. Actually, but if you do that yourself. Mm -hmm. Now you're in control to sell your own advertising. Yeah, master, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Master that shit. And so that that's my whole goal for next year is to stop uh stop giving so much money to all these platforms and right. use it for what they really are, is which is just advertising, you know, what you got going on. So Man. you know, launching a website. I'm gonna do the Joe Rogan thing. So Joe yeah. Rogan and, and Spotify. So Killing. when you go on and see any clips from 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 uh, from from Joe Rogan yeah. now, it's only gonna be five minutes. It's only gonna be ten minutes. Yeah. But if I you want to see like the whole video, yeah, you gotta go and sign on to Spotify mm. and and watch the whole interview there. That's a bar again. That's a bar. You know what I'm saying? Because so. I, only reason I delayed us from that uh, on this one because I felt like I seen how Drake Champs did it. Drake Champs had episodes. Like two years straight with just videos, mm -hmm. then they came at the end and brought you back to their audio episodes. Mm -hmm. Like okay, they had all of them out. Like mm -hmm. they just but they dropped all of them at like, once. Like the first season that you didn't get to hear audio, it was out. The second season you didn't get to hear, you saw it was just visually. You saw visually, it was it was on there. And I watched that model because that mo I feel like that model works because it worked for them. But I feel like now because they be saying because my homeboy be like bro. 
I watched all the episodes on YouTube. I want to go to Spotify to hear him the audio. He was like, because now I'm like, I, I just want to hear it because I can drive to it. Because I've yeah. seen it already. I yeah. love what I saw. I just want to hear it now. So I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it because our episode with Dean is making money. That first episode, I just put one out. It, it's, it's like it's like the United Masters shit they doing. Mm-hmm. Without the, the keep with their masters and stuff, it gets spins mm-hmm. and it, it, it is paying back. Well, that, see, and that's the thing because mm-hmm. everybody ingests content differently. Like some people watch more videos because they have the time. Then right. a lot of people they like to listen. Right, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So the whole idea is whatever content you're creating, if it's long form, create a video version and an audio version, audio version. and then whatever platform you're trying to upload it, find out how they ingest it on that platform mm-hmm. and create a content for that. Like you wouldn't put a long-term interview on Instagram. That's not you what won. it's designed you won. for. You won. So you will only put a two minute clip or a one minute clip right. on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? TikTok right. is doing what TikTok doing. So you have to, you have to put the type of content Mm-hmm. That they're creating on TikTok on there as well. That makes sense. But sense. the sure. thing is, you can do all of that from just one piece of content that you create. Right. It breaks up so many ways now. Yeah. It breaks up so many ways. Um, the whole TikTok thing is what 30, 10 seconds, fifteen seconds. I don't know for sure. I don't know because it's now that it's not long. It, well, it's starting to change up now because a lot of people are again. Mm-hmm. Social media is becoming this thing where people are going to it to uh, search on how to do stuff. Mm-hmm. So TikTok is turning into a DIY mm-hmm. platform now. I see. I see can, that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can go on there just to find out how to do anything. You can't. It, it well, is. That's what a lot exactly. of these. That's what a lot of these platforms are turned into. Like, but that's the thing. People watch content on the platform Mm -hmm. and they only stay on that platform they won't yeah so the people that excuse me so the people that watch it on you on 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 youtube yeah they'll only watch it on youtube yeah only the people that watch it on facebook they'll only watch it on facebook the people that watch it on tiktok they'll only watch it on tiktok spotify you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like they'll only stay to that so when you're creating your content Create a piece of content that'll go on all of those. Right, 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 right. So now Absolutely. when you go to your your advertisers, you yeah. just like, okay, I got 10,000 on TikTok. Yeah. I got 120 on YouTube. Yeah. I got such and such on, on this. Book, yeah. So now it all gathers up into one. Yeah, and that that Now you can sell that to and to your advertisers and say, hey, you're going to be advertising on all these platforms. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was looking at it how, I was looking at it how like, I've been watching all like all our drops from Pop to V to me to other things that drop Mel in the mix. I've been watching how it hits on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Not Instagram on Facebook. And then I've been watching on the field on Face on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I saw how it hits on TikTok for me and Mel. And I was just like, well, hmm. I was looking at it today, so I was like, well, our hits between all three of us come more from the Instagram TikTok wave. Mm-hmm. Um the Facebook does what it has to do. But it's only if we have something extraordinary out so, of this way. So understand Even this. if we're talking some real shit, uh-huh. it'll pick up on Instagram and TikTok type shit. It won't, the Instagram won't, I mean, Facebook won't even, it's weird with the book now. I don't, I don't like it. So that's because like Facebook it. wants you to pay to play. So they Say want you that. to advertise. Say that. So Say when you it. upload a lot of content to Facebook, they want you to pay to get so many views right, right, on right. there. And they want you to build uh, a, a, a community. Exactly so for Facebook, is. you have to be very specific about, because they want you to use their algorithm of like who's yep. your market, who's mm-hmm. your ta- like who's your target audience. They, mm-hmm. they really want you to break it down. So you have to do a little bit more work when it comes to Facebook I, now. It just sure. can't be let's drop it and see how many people are going to watch right, it. Right, 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 right. Like with Instagram, you can kind of do that still. Yeah. But with Facebook, they want you to be real specific about who I've it is. Because I've been noticing that. Because I'm going to tell you a, a prime example. I did us an episode of Sims where we, I just got drops from KCP, Katavius Cloud, Will Pope, and just got highlights of the basketball game and whatnot. Mm-hmm. When I dropped it on Instagram, it did like 2K views. Not Instagram, but Facebook, it did like 2K views, over like 100 likes, plus likes. But on Instagram, this shit did like three, 400 likes. Mm-hmm. About 
eight thousand views, mm-hmm. almost ten. It's still like it's still fucking around now, like moving right. now. So I'm like, damn, like what, what, what? Because Facebook is is making itself more community based. Mm-hmm. They want you to build communities on right, Facebook for sure. It was like it was more. It was more so like. The people from that area and the people from this area combined Mm -hmm. make it in the LaGrange area, the Manchester area, the Columbus area, as opposed with IG, it was the world. Mm -hmm. It was the world. So I was looking like, damn, what? Why are we not getting no love over here? But it, it was that, love. That's, that's basically what it is. It's community based. It wants because it's, it's more about people who are close within your right. communities. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're so right. say that. And it it really wants you to just be really your friend, specific. your local friends. Not even local friends, but it wants you to be specific about the type of market that mm-hmm. you want this content to right. reach. Right, right, right. So right. whenever you post something. Okay, if it's gonna be about sports, yeah. Okay, what kind of sports? Yeah. Where well, it's gonna be exactly. football? Okay, well, what, what football? We like. Okay, yeah. it's gonna be high school football. High, yeah, yeah. Okay, it, high it, school it, football. Divides. Okay, so what county? But, and so that kind of stuff, it wants you to really break it down. And so from there, yeah, now crazy. you build a community from, okay, well, we're going to do Warner Robins. Yeah. We're going to do Bill County, whichever. Right. So now when you pay the fee for that, right, right. it's just going to reach out to all the people right. in that and, and build up a community and stuff like that. So Exactly, exactly what I'm saying. But that's that's the game that, that social media play. But, again, if you have your own website, no. you don't have to be yeah. submissive to, to just that. that. To that lane. Yeah. To that lane. Man, simple. Sims got a Sims got on camera and dropped bars. I don't know what he did with Spade Spade, but he dropped bars on and me and you know I'ma say to my talent, bro. Sims, I already knew Sims was gonna get on here and just hey Perry, bop, 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 bop. Um bro, I just wanna thank you, bro, for like, bro, look where we at, bro. Like we yeah. we didn't be in the shack shack spot. We didn't been <laughs> up and down. HHN, shout out to them. Uh, we've been just up and down. Got another spot for us, Sam. That I, I got locked in in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a it's a vape smoke shop. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Bootsy for that plug. Bootsy, Bootsy, okay. back. he like they kind of like put me. Got a drop for him too for us too. I gotta just get it. Uh, but I kind of like you know what I'm saying. I worked the room. Old buddy who signed the Bootsy, I worked the room and everything. And I was just like, okay, bro, we can use this. Coming soon, you know what I'm saying? Because it got a space. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I did a couple artists, they want to book with us. It was like, Perry, but what? Where are you going to be? You're going to be in Macon? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're in Atlanta, we'll pay this price and come mm-hmm. right there. So it, it's not, it's right by the airport, Hateville. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Not no, bad. It's like smoke shop over yeah. there. White guy, no, he owns the whole block. Okay. That's the dude who owns smoke, the vape shop, smoke shop. Okay. He owns the damn, the building right here, the building. That, He's out here, but yeah, man. But sounds man, we want to give you your flowers, man. And tell you, you are a goat, and from what you're not doing, yet, man, not man, yet, because I'm just getting started. Like, you, you like just literally, cooking. like you I, are I, cootie. I, like, what's Kanye? You are cootie, bro. You like, bro. When I'm looking at that shit, like the day with all oh, goddamn Janet, like, bro, like, bro, I thought when we was coming, I was like, damn, bro. Well, see, and DJs. that's the thing. That's that's the thing to to really really cherish that situation because yeah. now you're seeing like damn look where, where we started yeah to where for we sure. at now yeah. but then think about where we're going in the future like for sure like for the sure. stuff that i got planned coming up yeah it's like it's it's a whole nother thing man like yeah man listen i'm look man i'm blessed and i'm happy bro like that day you gave me i still remember the day you gave me the business card bro and when i was in the house and rambling looking for it you feel mm-hmm. me and like, bro, that just those type of days, bro. And bro, you, you got married. Make sure I got your champagne bottle. I remember that. Oh yeah. yeah. I make sure yeah. I got the. You know what I'm saying? Pineville got you a coat. I I got you paid. You feel me? So I'm just, yeah. we got more for our artist council today. We was gonna get paid again today, but mm-hmm. it council somebody's yeah, family, family issue. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't mad at. But it, so I was telling him like, well, you might well get ready for next year, bro. Yeah. Um, but I sent him a new flyer to us, like, bro, mm-hmm. you know, two hundred and up because it's like, bro. You was gonna pay like we gonna make sure there was gonna be a, a a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A scene. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Janet for like you know what I'm saying, showing love with that one. You know what I'm saying? But it was gonna be a vibe though, and I appreciate you, man. And um, bro, like we just had to make. I just want to make sure you get on camera and, and just you know what I'm saying. This is where it come from, man. I got my talent, but this, without him, man, 
like he said, the Dr. Dre Snoop scenario, you know, scenario, Tupac, Dr. Dre, Tupac, whoever anybody you work with, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's that situation, man. And, man, and I'm, I'm appreciative, bro, because ain't, like he said, we just banging out these hits now, but wait. Oh, my God. It's yeah. just getting better and better with this shit. Yeah, man. Next year is going to be. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna be something serious, Hell man. Because yeah, uh, you know, just like I told partner V and T Cole, I was like next year the money time. It's money, yo, man. Look, man, listen, bro. Tell them it's money time because, bro, like I ain't doing. When I'm up there with, when I was up there in that um, I was like, bro, hey, interviews one seventy five. I was saying it last night. I was like booking for like uh, your two songs, two hundred and up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. That was cool with it. It was like, bro, we gonna send you this way. I was like, I was like, well, shit, I appreciate Boosie giving me a drop and sending his people. Come on, yeah. send them this way, man. Um, that's so those for Ti, Jeezy, anybody up that way, man. Send them this way, man. We got it. I gotta. I ain't like the progress report. I ain't reporting negative shit and nothing like that, which I respect them. But we got our own lane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, it, and it works. Yeah. It works like a motherfucker, bro. And how about, I ain't gonna talk about that yet. HHN moves. Yeah, yeah, they move. Yeah. Oh yeah, you turn. They told you too. I like, yeah, I, I, I had, I had, he had hit me up the other day and told me some stuff, and I was just like, oh okay. Yeah, well, he, he didn't tell me some stuff. He just told me he was, he was asking me about some equipment, and he was like, yeah, they moved to a whole other spot. So I was like, oh okay. Fairville, hey, Fairville, yeah, Fairville, Fairville, Fairville yeah. you feel me? And I, I, I rock with them, man. Hey man, I didn't tell you, man, I seen Dwight Howard in that building. Oh. Uh -huh. I told, I asked him to come. He said he'll think he, he gonna make sure. He was like, can he get, can we get him in the summertime? Mm -hmm. Because he'll be back from. Playing overseas. Oh, okay. Cause he he got he's signed to some Taiwan team, um, we, which I feel like he should still be in the NBA. But mm -hmm. you know how that goes, politics and whatnot. But he said he'll push up, man. Okay. Like he kept getting closer. He kept getting bigger and bigger. Cause okay. I saw him from a distance. Mm -hmm. He kept getting closer. Like damn, he getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he getting bigger and bigger. But yeah, Sims, man, we appreciate you, bro. And all the game you done gave us, man, from the start. And bro, and I, I'm just loving our development, man, and how fun it's become, bro. Yeah, man. And we got that, we gotta get some money now. Yeah. I told Chill, man, Chill. Uh, I, I put 200 up purposely for Chill, because if we had a DJ inserted in there, it it needs to be more money, bro. Mm -hmm. it, that the look, it looks like a whole like jam session type thing. Yeah. Yeah, we got. I said yeah. like you know 200 up, man. Y'all gotta get mm -hmm. it, bro. Yeah, man. Sounds. Want to appreciate you, man. This is your creation, Primetime Lives. I'm just the bars on that motherfucker, man. <laughs> Delivering it, man. And I appreciate you, bro. And, and bro, I know Infinity, like with Buzz Light, you said Infinity to the Beyond, bro. For yeah, sure. man. For yeah. sure, man.